Zip Tie Domes presents How to Use a Geodesic Dome Calculator Part 1 Strut Lengths Go to our website at www.ziptiedomes.com Click on the dome calculators at the top of the navigation bar. Choose the dome frequency to be calculated. If you want to learn more about dome frequency, please see our video on geodesic dome frequency at the link in the comments section. Today we will use the 3 frequency 5 eighths geodesic dome calculator. The calculator is simple to use. Just put the number of feet in any of the input fields and click calculate to determine the length of the other fields. Note that this is the only geodesic dome calculator on the internet that converts the number of feet in a decimal format into feet and inches down to one eighth of an inch. That is, all the other calculators will only give you the length of the blue struts at 4.9489 feet, not 4 feet 11 and 3 eighths inches. If you use another calculator and need to convert 4.9489 feet uh, over to feet and inches manually, here's how you do it. The 4 on the left of the decimal point means 4 feet, so we are converting only the .9484 to feet and inches. Since there are 12 inches and a foot, multiply .9484 feet by 12 to get 11.3808 inches. This lets us know it is 4 feet 11 plus a fraction of .3808 inches. To get the fraction of an inch, multiply 0.3808 by 8 to get 3.0464, which rounds up to 3, giving us 3 eighths of, a, of an inch as a fraction of an inch. So 4.9484 equals 4 feet 11 and 3 eighths inches. If the geodesic dome calculator you are using does not have this function, this is how you would calculate inches and fractions by hand. If you're going to use a tape measure to cut your struts, you won't be able to use feet in a decimal format. You will need inches in fractions of an inch. So, knowing that the blue A strut length is actually 4 feet 11 and 3 eighths inches is something you would need to know before you can cut your struts. So, let's look at the other fields on the calculator. The radius of 12 feet is the distance from the center of the dome to the outside edge. The 80 blue struts are the longest struts. On every calculator on our website, the blue struts are always the longest struts. The 55 yellow struts are slightly shorter than the blue struts. The 30 red struts are the shortest struts here and on every other calculator on our website. The dome diameter of 24 feet is the distance from one side of the dome to the opposite side. It is twice the radius of the dome. The dome ground perimeter is the length of the struts on the ground that are used to make the foundation of the dome. The dome height is a little over 14 feet in the center. Since it is a 3V58 dome, it will be slightly taller in the center than the radius of the dome. And the dome floor area is 452 square feet. This dome requires six red five-way hubs and 55 blue six-way hubs, giving a total of 61 hubs and center rings required. There are 330 stainless steel zip tie connections needed to build this dome. This is the number of zip ties needed to secure the outside and inside covering for our dual covering hubs, where the covering is attached to both the inside and outside of the dome. The value of 41.8 feet for the absolute minimum square covering dimensions for a tightly fitted cover is the distance from the bottom of the dome over the top of the dome and back down the other side. The values of 46 feet and 50.2 feet for the minimum and maximum covering dimensions secured to the hubs with zip ties indicates that a 48 by 48 sheet would be the perfect size for this dome as seen in this video clip. The dome covering will create a surface area of 1,073.8 square feet, and the dome will enclose a volume of 
4,637 cubic feet of air. The dome volume is useful for determining the size of the fan needed to ventilate a geodesic greenhouse. The last field is the total length of all of the struts, which is used in determining the weight of the dome. Below this section is the cost calculation and material utilization chart, which we will discuss in a later video. Let's go back up to the top of the calculator and look at the hub sizes. Our hubs have a center ring that is surrounded by the struts. To make an accurate measurement, we add the width of this center ring to the strut length. The center ring in our standard 4 inch hubs adds 2 and 3 8 inches to the strut length, while the super hubs and mega hubs add 3 and 1/2 and 4 and 1/2 inches to the strut length. If you are using a metric system, then change the radio button from feet to meters, and the imperial measurements are hidden and replaced with metric. The last part of this video is an explanation of the chord factors. The chord factors are a mathematical multiplier for determining the strut length as compared to the radius. If we put 1 in the radius, we see that the strut length is the same as the chord factor, rounded to the nearest decimal. The chord factors are the basis of all the dome calculations and show the precision of these calculations. In our next video, we will discuss how to use this cost calculation and material utilization chart so that the cost of your struts can be calculated and cut in the most cost efficient manner. If you have any questions, please call us at 931-858-6892 or go to our website at www.ziptiedomes.com. Thank you.